So to balance this equation, we have aluminum carbonate plus nitric acid. We'll count the atoms up. We'll use a little bit of a trick to make it easier. Let's try this. We have two aluminum atoms. We have one carbon. And then the oxygen, we have three times three. That's nine. We have one hydrogen. And then I didn't count these oxygens because I'm going to treat this NO3 as just one item. I have it here and I have it here. So I'm just going to call NO3 one thing. And I have one of these nitrate ions, NO3. On the product side, I have one aluminum, I have one carbon, I have oxygens, one plus the two, that gives me three oxygen atoms, two hydrogens, and then three of these nitrates, three of these NO3 ions. So I have three of those. If you do it this way, it'll save you a lot of trouble. It's very challenging to balance this equation if you add up all of the oxygens separately. So we can first fix the aluminum, so that's pretty easy. I'll put a two in front of the aluminum nitrate, one times two, That'll give me two. And then for the nitrates, I have three of them times two. I have six nitrates. Let's leave these oxygens and hydrogens to last. That's usually a good strategy. So let's fix the carbons now. And I can see I've made a mistake. This three applies to everything in the parentheses. So it's three times the one. So I actually have three carbons. So I need to put three carbons on this side. I'll put my coefficient here, three, one times three, that equals three. And now I need to update the oxygens. So remember, we don't count these oxygens because they're in the nitrate. So we have one plus two times three is six. We have seven oxygen atoms. All right. It seems like it'd be fairly easy to put a two in front of the HNO3. Now one times two, that would give me two hydrogen atoms. Those would be balanced. And then the one nitrate times the two so now I have a bit of a problem. The oxygen has seven and nine. That's not easy to work with, but I can get the nitrates balanced. So I could, instead of having two in front of this HNO3, I could put a six there. So then let's fix the nitrates here. Now I have one nitrate times six. So I have six nitrates. Those are balanced and I have to update the hydrogens. So I have one times six for the hydrogens. That gives me six hydrogen atoms. All right, but now I can come over here and put a three in front of the H2O, two times three, that equals six. And then let's update our oxygens. We have one times three, three plus two times three is six. And that gives us nine. And this equation is balanced. This is a pretty difficult equation to balance, especially if you try to count up all the oxygens separately. If you use the nitrate as just one item because it appears on both sides of the equation, that makes it easier. It's still a little difficult, but that made it a lot easier. So this is the balanced equation for aluminum carbonate plus nitric acid. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.